You know, last week during her live web chat, Dr. Vaughn responded to an email from a mother who was concerned about her 11-year-old son who was embarrassed because he had significant breast development. What'd you tell her? Well, the conventional answer is that boys' hormones can get confused while they're approaching puberty. Sometimes they make more estrogen than testosterone, resulting in some breast enlargement. Sometimes this will go away as they grow up, but other times the boys will continue to have enlarged breasts, and this can be terribly embarrassing for them. Imagine how devastated they are when they have acne. Having breasts is even worse. What, what else did you tell this mother? Well, I also told her that to have her son checked out by the pediatrician, and if everything came up okay, then she needed to consider whether estrogenic environmental toxins were causing the breast development. Phthalates and plastic wrap and consumer goods and bisphenol A or BPA have a strong estrogenic effect on the bodies of boys and girls. And we're exposed to this where? We are getting exposed to this stuff all over the place, unfortunately. Um, processed foods w that we eat wrapped or things that are wrapped or bottled in plastic, it's hard to avoid it, Cindy. 93% of infants and 97% of adults have BPA in their urine. BPA lines canned goods, it's in baby formula, um, or lines canned uh, baby formula. Um, it's very fat-loving, so the pregnant mothers store it in their fat, then transfer it to their babies in utero and in their breast milk. Um, look at water bottles. bottles. Polycarbonate or hard plastic containers are made of BPA. When the fluid is heated in these containers, like leaving your water bottle in a hot window or a car, BPA leaches into the water, then you drink it. What other problems can it cause? It can cause a lot of problems. Um, BPA exposure has been associated with um, lowered sperm counts, smaller testicles, infertility and prostate cancer in men, breast cancer and infertility in women. The effects may not show up for years. So what do we do to protect our kids? First of all, ask the question, could something in the environment be causing this? That's what the parents at Love Canal asked over 30 years ago when their kids started getting sick and black sludge started oozing out of the ground. This isn't rocket science. What we're dealing with now is more subtle and pervasive. It's not limited to Superfund sites. What else? Um, try to eat real food, eat organic food when, pro in, when available. Um, don't eat processed foods. Uh, don't combine plastic food and heat, especially in the microwave. Don't use those new plastic pouches that you drop into hot water to cook your food. All right. Thanks so much for coming Thank you. in.